<clears throat> so my book was Like Water for Chocolate by Laura Esquivel. And the significance of the title, um, Like Water for Chocolate, comes from Latin America and is a term that means to become very hot and angry. As is common in making chocolate, the water is brought to near boiling several times during the process. And in the same way, the main character, Tita, feels intense emotions that are symbolized through her cooking and the side effects. These emotions cause Tita to nearly boil over with rage or sadness several times throughout the story. For my author biography, Laura Esquivel was born September 30th, 1950, and is a Mexican novelist, screenwriter, and politician. Like Water for Chocolate was her first novel and became a bestseller in Mexico and the U.S., Esquivel thinks that the kitchen is the most important part of the house, inspiring her to write like water for chocolate. Life events and Esquivel's joy for family recipes and her great aunt helped her to develop like water for chocolate. Esquivel m wrote many other novels such as The Law of Love and Between Two Fires. Esquivel was born as the third of four children. Her father was a telephone operator and a homemaker, but died in 1999. Esquivel was trained as a teacher, but founded a children's theater workshop and, work, and wrote dramas and novels. In 2012, she was elected a federal representative for the Marina Party of Mexico. For much of the 20th century, Mexico flourished. As they created their constitution and won independence from Spain, many Mexicans felt pride and a sense of freedom. Culture flourished, and many art pieces were developed, such as music, novels, and paintings. However, after World War II, Mexico started to decline. Less art and culture was exported, and Mexican stocks lost value. The time that Like Water for Chocolate was written was the end of this decline, with a major party change in 1988, the same year that Like Water for Chocolate came out. The setting is a family ranch near the Mexico-U.S. border. Tita is the youngest daughter of the La Garza family and is charged to take care of her mother and is not able to marry until her mother dies. Tita has two older sisters, Rosara and Gertrudis. Tita grows up cooking with the housemaid and has quite a talent in the kitchen. This is largely because she was born in the kitchen and has supernatural cooking skills. Tita's emotions affect the quality, taste, and after effect of her food. The cultural significance and issues of like water for chocolate. Mexican culture plays a huge role in like water for chocolate. Mexican traditions, especially with food, come to develop the plot and the relationships between the characters. The matriarchal traditions cause the main conflict of the plot, and major social events are associated with in, within cultural traditions and dishes of Mexico. Five main character descriptions. The main character, Tita, is the youngest daughter of Mama Elena. She is forbidden to marry Pedro. Instead, she must take care of, a mom, of Mama Elena as per the La, Car La Garza tradition. The story focuses on Tita and how her relationship grows with Pedro throughout her life. Mama Elena is the widowed matriarch of the De La Garza family and owns the family ranch. She is shown as, shown as ty tyrannical and fierce, bitter from losing the love of her life. Pedro, Tita's true love. Since Tita was forbidden to marry, he marries Rosara to get closer to Tita. He secretly pursues Tita throughout the novel. Rosara, the second daughter of Mama Elena. She marries Pedro and has Roberto. Rosara moves to San Antonio in order to separate Pedro and Tita. Roberto, Roberto dies as an infant and Rosara births Esperanza. Nacha, the ranch cook who takes care of Tita and teaches her to cook. Nacha is more of a mother figure for Tita and gives her most of the recipes found in the book. For the plot, each chapter of the book is, de is dedicated to a month of the year and each chapter contains a recipe that Tita uses. Pedro proposes to Tita, who is forced to reject him due to family tradition. He marries Rosara to get closer to Tita, but the wedding is ruined by the cake Tita prepares, as Tita's tears cause food poisoning. The oldest sister consumes quail with rose petal sauce and is whipped into a lustful state with a revolutionary soldier. Roberto is, bo is born to Rosara and Pedro, but Rosara is unable to produce milk, so Tita instead breastfeeds him. Mama Elena forces Pedro and Rosara to move to San Antonio, and when Roberto is removed from Tita's care, he dies. Tita has a mental breakdown due to Roberto's death and is sent to an asylum. She meets Dr. John Brown and is healed back to health after she returns to the ranch, but is rejected by Mama Elena. Not long after, Mama Elena is found dead by overdosing on a strong emetic she took in fear of poisoning from Tita. This frees Tita, who accepts the marriage proposal of Dr. John Brown. 
Pedro and Mazzara have Esperanza and return to the ranch. Pedro makes love to Tita despite her engagement, and Tita is pregnant with Pedro's child. Mama Elena's ghost returns and curses Tita and her unborn child. Gertrudis returns, and Tita is forced to tell Pedro about her pregnancy. John Brown returns from a trip to the United States, and when he finds out about the pregnancy, he tells Tita she must choose for herself who she loves. Years pass, and Esperanza is to be married to Dr. John Brown's daughter, uh, son. Sorry, Rosario had died, freeing Esperanza from the curse of the De La Garza family. On the first night with Pedro, both feel love so intense that they are led to the afterlife. Wanting to be with Pedro, Tita eats her own inner fire, and the union curse and the union causes a fire to the ranch. The only thing left is Tita's cookbook. For six quotes, you know perfectly well that being the youngest daughter means you have to take care of me until the until the day I die. This is said by Mama Elena, and it is the main conflict in the plot that reoccurs with Esperanza having to take care of her mother, Rosara, too. And Tita feels that she shouldn't have to go by tradition, that she shouldn't have to conform to the societal roles that her matri matriarchal family has put out for her. She wants to marry the love of her life, who is Pedro. Tita knew that her own flesh... Tita knew through her own flesh how the how the fire transforms the elements is another quote. And this is said by the narrator. And it shows that she knows from experience that fire can change things and make something better or new. And this is part of the reason why at the end of the story she eats her own inner fire. Because she wants to become someone else and to be better than she was. And to have a life that she wants with Pedro. Even if it's in the afterlife. Another quote is... Tita was literally like water for chocolate. She was on the verge of boiling over. This is also said by the narrator, and it just points out that like water for chocolate is the title of the book, and that it represents Tita's emotions boiling over and how they affected her cooking. In especially Mexican tradition, cooking is very important. Another quote is, some things in life shouldn't be given importance if they don't change what is essential. This is just a quote that stuck out to me because you should prioritize things in your life. And Tita had to learn how to pr prioritize her love and who she loved the most. Another quote is, I've never needed a man for anything all by myself. I've done right with my ranch and my daughters. Men aren't that important in this life. And this just highlights the matriarchal society that the De La Garza family follows in the ranch and how the curse of the family is that each the youngest daughter has to take care of the mother until she dies and so that's why mama elena feels that women are superior to men and the last quote is anything could be true or false depending on whether one believed it i just think that this is a quote that stands out to me because Everybody has a different opinion on what's wrong or right. And that comes into play in the story a lot about Mama Elena and Tita fighting. One believes that one should conform to family rules and the other doesn't believe in it at all. So the illusions, the Mexican Revolution, which sparked a sense of Mexican pride and culture. This happened in the early 20th century. And the La Garzas are proud of Mexican traditions and heritage and freedom that came largely due to the Mexican Revolution. The second illusion is La Rollona. Llorona, I think I said that right. Is a curse that takes children, especially bad ones, away from their parents to a ghost mother. And Mexicans often use it as like a threat to children. Like, La Rollona is going to get you if you don't go to bed. Something like that. So the themes of like Water for Chocolate. Food as a means of communication and tradition, since the kitchen is very important in Mexican tradition, they use it as they use their food as a way to convey their emotions and feelings, which is the supernatural ability that Tita has. A second theme could be passion and lifelong love, because even though Tita and Pedro were never married, they still knew that they were the love of each other's life, and they actively pursued and thought about each other throughout their whole lives. Um, another thing could be su supernatural curses, blessings, and hauntings, since Mama Elena's ghost came back um, to haunt Tita when she came back to the ranch, 
and also Tita's supernatural blessing to be able to put her emotions through her food, um, or curses such as the family the the family curse they call it a curse even though it's just a tradition that the mother has to take care that the daughter has to take care of the mother until she dies. Um, societal roles and traditional expectations of women is probably the most major theme in the story because. Tita doesn't want to conform to these traditional expectations from her family and from her mother, and yet she has to because her mom is the matriarch of the family and she has to respect what her mother believes until she dies. And then lastly, emotion influences choices and experiences the characters make throughout the story. Um, This is seen through Tita's food and how the side effects of it come into play, and also... Um, the love that Pedro and Tita feel for each other. And yeah, that's my story.